for me, this is more than just a job. It's more than just a mission. This company, as much as it reclaims wood, it also reclaims people and lives because it's a true sense of work that you don't get very many other places. And it gives you a sense of purpose. At the Strong Oaks Wood Shop, part of the process of building our furniture has to do with getting the wood. All of our wood is reclaimed. And in order to do that, we need to take down old structures like the one behind me. So this building was actually built in 1910. It was originally used for storing refrigerator parts for the Rainy Refrigerator Company. It was in use until the 1980s, um, at which point it was shut down because the structure was becoming so dangerous that no one could work in it. The roof had gone and the foundation was going, and that's the kind of thing that we do. We are able to come in at that critical moment before all of the wood is lost, and we can save much of the structure and reuse it. So on a building like this, we usually start in reverse order of the way that it was built. We start from the roof and we have to take off whatever it was layered with, uh, shingles, tin, whatever it happens to be. And we take it down from there. So from the peak down by hand tools and you know, a few power tools and that's it. We're trying to save as much as possible and so we don't usually go for the knockover method. But a lot of times there's just rotten sections of the building and the only safe way to take it down is to just knock it over. Um, that's not usually what we want to do, but it does happen pretty much every project. The most interesting part of the job is finding all the interesting things that were left behind. not to mention the different varieties of wood. See, back in the day, they used what they had. In this structure in particular, there was pine and oak and ash and maple, which is a combination of woods that you typically wouldn't see in a building project. The hardest part of the job is the trash cleanup. There is just some things that we can't save. Shingles, you, there's just nothing to do with them. You just have to throw them away. And as much as that's a shame, we have to sort of focus on the larger picture, which is saving as much as possible. If it wasn't for us, this whole building would end up in a landfill. And now we're saving 80, 90% of it. able to take something at the beginning of the day, this old raw material, and you put yourself into it, and at the end of the day, you've, you've changed it, and it becomes a brand new thing, and there's nothing quite like that.